we decided we would come to this particular site, Mound Field, because it has not been worked at since 1940. We've spent, well, we're in our fifth week, we have one more week to go. So the 2016 FSU Archaeological Field School is at a site in the St. Mark's National Wildlife Refuge, and it is 1,400 years old. So it dates from about AD 650 to AD 950. It's very in the middle. Deep. Yes. So, so should I take a measurement from there? No, you're going to take a measurement from the floor to where it starts. In archaeology, it's all about hands-on. You can't. You can read about it all you want in a textbook. You can watch videos. You can do simulations on the computer. But until you actually get down in the units and get dirty, you cannot know what it's like. You can't actually be a professional archaeologist. These things that are sticking up, we call them features, and they're the evidence of where past activity happened. So we're at the point of our excavation and some of these units where we have all of these features that have shown up, and now we are trying to excavate them so we can determine exactly what they were. So this is an awl, and you would actually hold it like this, and then you would take a piece of leather, and you would actually push through and puncture the leather, and that would create a small hole in it. So that's the great thing about these little guys is that such a small flake can actually be turned into a tool. When you dig something up, it is the coolest, the coolest thing I've ever experienced um, because you are the first person to touch that artifact in 1400 years or depending on what site you're working on, longer, shorter, but that eventually could be in a museum or it could help someone with their research about this area and it is extremely <laughs> phenomenal. So Phaedra's holding a piece of quartz crystal. We have a few here that all came from the same excavation unit and the same 10 centimeter level. And um, the crystal would have come from somewhere up in the Carolinas, so it's evidence of trade. It, it's actually not a very good stone to work, but it can be manufactured into um, stone projectile points, but probably were done for ceremonial purposes and everything, as opposed to like this guy over here, which would have been a very working tool. This is a small arrowhead as well, and so it's actually been fractured at the bottom, so it's incomplete. Um, and the problem is, is that this was actually done when it actually lodged into something and then broke. And then we have some other stone tools here. These very small little items are all small drills. We found all four of these in one one meter by one meter excavation unit level. It was just quite fascinating to be able to find all that together so that way we can get a better idea of the whole picture of the site. So being out in the field, we are applying all of the things that we've learned about like remote sensing and data collection. Um, and it's way more hands-on, which is great because that's the way I learn. And so if I had never done this experience, archaeology would have just been a side interest. Um, but now it's something that I can actually pursue because I have the, the knowledge to pursue it in the field. We're collaborating with federal agencies. Um, we collaborate with state agencies. And it offers our students unparalleled opportunities in the field of archaeology to work with all these individuals. And that's really something special about being in anthropology at Florida State University in Tallahassee, Florida, where it is the hub of archaeology for the entire state and hopefully for the entire southeastern region. That is our goal, is to make it the preeminent department for archaeology in the southeastern U.S.